Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 30 of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, we had just finally reached uh, the Greybeards, and now we're going to show them our voice, apparently. That's what they want us to do, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go down shouts, because I don't have the one they want equipped. Unrelenting force. And... Foos! <laughs> so much for it wouldn't hurt you. It is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Hello. I am Master Angir. <laughs> I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell okay. me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I, hmm, I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. Mm -hmm. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Ah, that makes sense. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has that been hand said a DLC. thus far. That is all I can say. That hints at a DLC. <laughs> a really cool one, might I add. At least in my opinion. Other people sometimes feel kind of chipped by it. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. Mm -hmm, but yeah. do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Rude. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Yes. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak That's kind of rude. The language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an. If I wasn't willing, I wouldn't be here. Words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. All right. Master Einarth will now teach you grow, the second word in unrelenting force. Grow means balance in the dragon tongue. Mm -hmm. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Grow. Yeah, sorry if I'm coughing and sputtering more than usual. I'm kind of coming down with a cold. Roar. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little while. Don't you know it? Mm-hmm. Well, that is how the rest of us... Learn. This is why I have subtitles on. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. That music was a little loud. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. All right. Cool beans. All right. Okay. Stand over here. Use your unrelenting force Let's do this. To strike there we go. The targets. As they appear. The targets. Oh. Oh yeah. There we go. Now this one's a strong one. Well done. Again. Okay. I love how it resets my thing manually. My shout bar. There we go. The full shout is actually pretty formidable. So. You learn quickly. Once more. Uh huh. Iklosa. Sorry, I, I like doing the shouts. Impressive. Leave me alone. I'm a nerd. Is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Uh-huh. 
will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Courtyard. Follow Master Boy. This is over there. Yep. You can tell I've been doing this for a long time. Because I know exactly where everyone is. <laughs> and who exactly everyone is. Even though they all look pretty much the exact freaking same. Time to head out to the courtyard. Doo -doo -doo. Red guards are natives of Hammerfell. Its cities hung the edges of the great Alakir Desert. Hug. Not hung. Hug. Ah. Uh. This cold is going to kill me, I swear. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to hear that. And I assume this is the trial here? We will now see how you learn a completely new shot. Okay. Master Bori will teach you wood. Which means whirlwind. Whoa. That was all over my feet. There we go. Alright, the right direction. Da -da -la. Before you can project it into a thumb. Alright. Alright. Do 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 do. Now, I have a new shout that I must equip, because this one's actually useful. I have it equipped, right? Okay. be embarrassing if I went through all this just to find out- Oh, it's not equipped! Fuck! Okay, so not me. Hmm. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. Can do. Huh. Hello, Wolfcar. All right. Your quick mastery of a new thum is... Uh, Astonishing. <laughs> right. I've heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? That's quite a thrill, ain't it? Thank you. What's next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. All right. Why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance uh. of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. Well, fuck. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Surely there's more you can tell me. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Hey! Do not That's let rude. your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many dragonborn before you. Fair enough. Hmm. There are only four of you? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you mm -hmm. will know you are ready to speak to him. Parthenax was mentioned on the emblems on the way up, right? Hmm. All right. Sky above, voice within. Okay. Now let's head to Ustengrav, which is there. And we'd have to head through Morthal anyway. Uh... Falgunther? I don't even remember what Falgunther is for. Well, what we will do is exactly that. But first we have to head to a city. Or my house, that'd be good. 
to offload some of the stuff we gathered on the way up here, like dragon bones and whatnot. Because, you know, that'd be nice. It'd be nice. That's what I'm saying. Yaw! Many of Skyrim's Nords harbor a bit of resentment of all elvenkind, who they've battled with throughout history. The Great War may be over, but its horrors are still fresh in the minds of the conflict survivors. Yeah, that's pretty much how it always is. I swear, even when I think it's going well, it ends up crashing. I apologize. Here we go again. Um, there's some things I wanted to drop. For some reason, I picked up clay, and I don't call why. Um, did I have dragon yeah i still have the dragon bones and scales in here so i'm just gonna drop all these there is there anything else house supplies related yep don't need those at all well at all right now later i probably will and need to disenchant this eventually um disenchant that that's for sure And we will, yeah, I think we'll leave it at that for now. Well, that was kind of necessary to drop those two. And we'll uh, continue on. Uh, what we should be heading to is the new city or town nearby to Ustengrav. Um, Morthal, maybe? Or Dawnstar? I think I'm going to go with dawn star for now because i do need to eventually head there what the okay i thought that was a dragon false alarm okay <laughs> hello where do you want to go let's go to dawn star climb and back and we'll be off all right sounds good to me and carriage nice weather for a ride hope it lasts hopefully Although it'll get snowy as we make our way up there, so. Legend holds that the highest ranking dragon priests were granted magical masks. Strange artifacts that defy the laws of time and grant their wearers powerful enchantments. One of which we'll actually be going after. Very soon. Alright. Cool beans. Now we head in the direction for Ustengrav once we actually have the marker set. Because I'm a dum dum. Uh, ooh, we could have returned to Tlimic. We'll do that later. Um, now, usually there's someone who tries to attack you. Well, with the DLC. That after you get that part of the quest done, they try to attack you. And, you know, there's a whole thing. But, uh, looks like they haven't spawned in. So we're gonna call it good, and we're just gonna head in the direction we're supposed to be going, which is just to fine-tune it this way. Alright. Ooh. Uh, okay, I already have it equipped. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had the sword equipped for a second. But I didn't realize until after. Okay. Let's make sure it accounts for any movement he might make and come on hit the mark yeah there we go it got the first one got caught by a freaking goat freaking goat right over there stupid goat why um why am i not able to attack now there we go i hate it when it does that Stupid goat got in the way of my freaking magic. Take all that. Thought that was a ore rock for a second. Okay. Now that we're done with that, we're just gonna. Come on. Let me get over. Screw you then. Jesus. Get over here. You dink. Alright. Um. Just gonna keep walking. This is actually kind of a long way. It would have been shorter with Morthal, but I don't want to deal with the whole Morthal thing right now. Uh, we will later, don't get me wrong, but right now it's just a whole mess. Stupid goat. Take that. Boom. <laughs> 
We it went flying. <laughs> he exploded. Okay. We'll go this way. Effadu. Snowberries. Always good. Because you can make enchantments out of them. Again, it won't let me fucking attack. I wasn't planning on attacking this rabbit, but I'm just double checking to make sure the thing's working at all. Uh Damn it. Game's glitching out on me. Uh, it lets me shout, but I can't freaking attack. That's stupid. The whole thing is stupid. Uh, this is a burnt out house. That's not good. Wonder what happened here. Uh, burnt corpse. Um, wooden plates. It's weird. No real sign of what went wrong. No meal. Uh, there's a chest there. At least there's that. And potion of water breathing. Hey, that's a good one to have in a back pocket or backpack pocket. Technically. Oh. Well, okay, we'll just keep going. There's really nothing we can do here. And I still can't attack for some goddamn reason. Uh, maybe switch into a different weapon? No, nothing. The hell? Is that... Okay, we're going to switch to fire breaths, because that seems to be our only way to attack now. Ah, uh, jeez. I have no idea what's going on anymore in my game. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Jesus Hubert Christ. Jesum Christum. Okay. That's some Latin for you folks. And still can't do anything. And there's supposed to be people here, too. Da Fook. Okay. Um, guess everyone died? Okay, that's, uh, unusual for this spot. They just all dropped dead. Hey, death bell. Always could use those. And, and I still can't attack. Is this a reason why I can't attack? Because everything's pretty much glitching out on me. There's a bandit there. Seems that the uh, bandits were being attacked by necromancers. Trying to gather more bodies for their experiments or whatever. At least that's what it seems like. Houston Grav. Okay. Maybe when we're inside the building it'll be a little better. My game will stop being stupid. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Jeez. Uh, this cold is going to freaking kill me. I swear to God. Bandits. Shovel. Why the hell would you have a shovel? And I still can't pull out my weapon with the attack buttons. I still can't attack. And fucking tastic. Okay. I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. Because it's annoying to deal with. But I'm gonna new save and then load from that save. Because that's one way I know It'll reset it in a way, so. Two-handed weapons do more damage than one-handed, but don't block as effectively. And I still cannot do anything. The hell is going on. These thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard. Oh. Stupid. To grab a pick and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with manual labor. Ooh. I've never actually heard there that. Another one. Bah, weak willed rabble. Even dead, they're almost useless. Okay, it would be nice if I could fucking attack right now. 
someone there. Yours. Okay, I cannot attack at all. This is bullshit. There it goes. Jesus. I could be attacked first for to be doing that. I guess it's kind of nerfing me a bit. There you go. If I haven't had any conflict for a limited amount of time, suddenly I'm not able to do anything. Fuck that. Uh, take the steel arrow. If, oh, I guess it was embedded in her arm, so I guess I can't. Because Bandit decided wanted revenge. I can't blame her. Uh, take those. That, that. And I'll drop the bow that I just picked up because I don't want it. Okay. Now that we've fixed my uh, weapon problem, now I feel much better. And... Just go down this way. And... Huh. And they're fighting Draugr. That's not going to go good for them, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Honeycomb and Nernroot. There we go. Die! Plungerer. Stupid piece of crap. Oh, jeez. I'm actually running out of health because of this. Uh... Ah. Potion of healing. I need more healing potions. Like, really badly. Come on. Die already. Oh, Jesus. This is not good. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Uh, extreme healing is all I really got. Uh, I can't really do anything else. Good God. Fuck. What the... There we go. Oh, man. That almost went south. I need more healing potions before I do anything. I'll need to head out and... Whoop. Jazz Bay Grapes need those for a certain thing. Uh... Okay. I'm just gonna loot all of them for now. Take all their gold. Because I need to buy more freaking potions. Like, a lot more. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these particular... If you like this video and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video right here. And, you know, share and comment so I can talk to all of y'all and we can bring more people into this community and, you know, talk about, you know, the games we, we play and whatnot. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.